Happy Friday. My name is Kyle Burquist and welcome to the weekly On The House market update for June 12, 2020. Somewhere around the seventh of every month, the Northwest MLS puts out their data for the month before, which means this past week, the Northwest MLS put out their data for May. And just like the data always does, it made headlines around the region. The reality is the data for May wasn't great. But remember, most closed sales in May got into contract in April because assuming a 30-day close, that sale that closed on May 15th actually got into contract on April 15th. Make sense? And if we go all the way back to April, we remember that most of April, we were at the height of coronavirus quarantines. So headlines stating that the market slowed in May makes sense. So if May's numbers are really a function of everyone getting into contract in April, then it would make sense that June's numbers are gonna be a function of everyone who got in contract in May. Ergo, since we already have a full data set of what happened in Northwest real estate in May, we can make a pretty educated guess as to what July's Northwest MLS headlines for June are going to look like. You following me here? Here's a breakdown of what happened in May. The trough for median list price in Seattle for single family residences was May 1st at about $780,000. On April 15th and May 15th, plus or minus 15 days from that trough, the median list price was about $790,000. A perfect V. Go one step further and we can see that the median list price on April 1st and June 1st, plus or minus 30 days from the trough on May 1st, and we're at about $800,000 on April 1st and eight ten dollars on June 1st. Overall, the median list price in May was about the same as the median list price in April and down from the median list price in March. But the trajectory of the median list price is what separates the two months. April's median list price was falling while May's median list price was rising. Moving into the June data, an available inventory just fell below one month for the first time since, you guessed it, March. As of right now, there are 1,698 pending and active homes on the market in Seattle, but 868 of those are already under contract, which means that at this buyer activity level, there is only 0.96 months of inventory currently available for purchase and not already pending. Sales are down year over year because activity across the board has slowed with COVID-19, but the data is telling us that July's Northwest MLS headlines may paint a rosier picture being that we were firmly on the upward side of our V-shaped recovery in Northwest real estate. Overall, July's Northwest MLS report on June data will likely show that prices move sideways since most of June's closings got in contract in May and the average list price of a home in May was about the same as the average list price of a home in April. But if we get really granular on it, we know that the nature of the data was different. We can see that May was a recovery month, and so far in June, we are continuing to build on that recovery, thus setting the stage for a really strong July and therefore a really great Northwest MLS report at the beginning of August. We can see the future. Okay, that's all for now. Please subscribe to our weekly On The House Market Update YouTube channel and have the best weekend ever.